What is up guys, Austin Richo here, back again playing Jurassic World Evolution, continuing on here on the Isla Tucano secret research facility, at least that's, yeah, research facility, I guess is what it is, secret one or whatever, of Dr. Wu's, of course, and so we're continuing on with our gameplay here, so in last episode, it's kind of dark at night and everything, but in the last episode, we got the Ankylodocus here, again, it's hard to see at night, but we got that in the last episode, so we still have all the dinos and everything from that mission, and I continue to build up the island, so I got three hotels, um, another power station, a bunch of different shops and everything, so I did two more areas, so I have, uh, this fencing area over here, um, for things, uh, for other herbivore type things, and then for the carnivores, we'll go over into this one. So let's go on with the next mission here. So we go into our missions, and it's the Stegoceratops. So that's the other one. So we'll go ahead and start the mission there. This is my so we got to do the research first for I it. Call, you respond. Perfect. Let me see if I can guess the dinosaurs, Doctor. So this one goes pretty fast, which is cool, I guess. Less than a minute. Then we'll have to, of course, wait for. It. We'll come over to our. Hammond Lab, <clears throat> which should be, research should be done pretty quick. There we go. So let's see what do we create a Stegosaurit, or Stegoceratops, which should be down in here somewhere. Stegoceratops. Let's go ahead and modify it a little bit. We don't want to make it too, exp oh, it's actually pretty cheap. We'll go with the step pattern, get it to live longer. Let's see, grass, we should be pretty good. The one thing I may want to change is its social. I won't change that, make it too expensive. This is the social one. See, it requires 14% viability. It's probably where we'll leave it because that's got 14%, but we have over 120% to go. And so that should, it's, you know, pretty decent. So go ahead and incubate that. Of course, and this is probably going to take quite a long time. I probably, well, no, because I need that. So I guess I will just sit here now and wait for the Stegoceratops. Yes, Stegoceratops. I want to make sure I'm saying the right name. Wait till it gets done. I'll go ahead and put a feeder in for it and everything. Right here. Um, but yeah, I'll wait till it gets done and bring it back once. I'm sure we'll have to add more dinos and stuff into it. We'll have to see. But yeah, so I'll wait till it gets done incubating. We're at 13% right now. So I'll wait till that gets done and I will bring it right back. And it is now done. So let's go ahead and release the Stegoceratops. I should have probably just done the two of them. So chosen that option for the uh, whatever population thing. But I went down to the from zero to five. So. We'll just do the one for now. There it is. Looks like a Triceratops. Extra long horns, spikes on its back, and of course the or spines on its back, and then the spikes on its tail. Oh, but it needs actual population. I think others will admire our work as much as we do. Well, let's go ahead and throw in personnel observe the Stegoceratops for a bit. They don't need to know any more than what I'm willing to share. Some Gallimimus is very little. We're gonna charge money to see this eventually, right? Uh, asking for a friend. Throw those in there since those go pretty fast because it needs some population. Yeah, because population is all that it needs. What is its population requirement? Forget where you see it in the star. Nope, this one. Three, so yeah, once those two Gallimimuses, it should be good. Are people seeing it? Look at this cool dino. Of course we need transportation. Which we don't have. Could put a station over here. Let's 
Look at the beautiful stegoceratops. I wish it was daylight out so we could see you better. But look at it. Looks pretty cool. I love triceratopses. Stegos I'm okay with. They're not my favorite, but they're not my least favorite either. Let's see, are people viewing them? Are there a bunch of people around now? Yeah, it's jumped up a lot. There was zero people, or like one person in each. Oh, that one still has four, though. It's lonely. Sorry, Stegoceratops, you're lonely. We're about to throw in some Gallimimuses in there with you. They're about done. Dr. Woo. Here we go. So now, as soon as these get done, it's going to be release something. There we go. Don't be lonely anymore. As impressive as this animal is, here we go. Crate Stegoceratops defense even more. of 110. Let's create another with further modified genes. Reading between the lines here, but did Dr. Wu just suggest your first attempt at this hybrid was in some way defective? Yeah, defense of at least 110. What if you did? So let's go now. Modify for defense. Well, that's perfect right there. That will add some two, which there will be two, so that'll be fine. We'll add that, which increases the viability, which should still be good. So we got 110 defense, a lifespan still quite a while. So let's incubate that one. Look at that girl of my missus. Yep, Stegoceratops is all good now. He's happy with his two little friends. They're just over here social like, Can you believe the look of that new guy over there? He looks all weird. He looks like he's got a mixture of two dinos that did some inbreeding or something. That's what they were just socializing about. So now I guess it's time to play the waiting game again for the other Stegoceratops. Which is at 11%, so I will wait till that gets done and be right back once again, so I'll see you then. And the other Stegoceratops is now ready to release. I don't know if I changed the color, if I should have changed the color. My bad. And it's still daytime, seems like it's perpetually daytime longer than it is, or nighttime longer than it is daytime. On this island. And I got the other two Galmimuses from the other area. We move over to this one. This animal is just beautiful. Cerata, Ceratosaurus. Now, let's put it to the test. Oh no. We'll set up a series of challenges. Don't need our Gallimimus. This will be invaluable research into understanding our Stegoceratops. Oh no. Where's he coming from? Beauty in the eye of the beholder. Be beautiful. Let's see how this Stegoceratops measures up when compared to alpha predators. I've set up a series of confrontations. Combat most dangerous. Confrontations? Can you keep it alive? It's socializing with what? Oh, there it is. It's like, where's the other one at? There they both are. Stegoceratopses. Run, run, run. The alpha. So the second one is now the alpha. Huh. Got those, we should have our four Gallimimuses all over there socialized, waiting for that Ceratosaurus to be dropped in at any moment. I wish it would get daytime sometime around here, but you never know. Look at the hotel. You can kind of see people in there. Is anyone over? Whoa, two zoomed in. Yes, there's always one person standing all in the, the hotel. Uh, now it's the waiting game and here we go. We're transported. So I guess we've got to let it fight. So we got to do that. Oh, no, we've got the disease Go ahead and Add that task on there. Surely we don't have like any new diseases unlocked. There's the new dino Should be the stegoceratops. There we go. Let's look. Do we have any new? Nope Should be unlocking some of those at least so here comes the Ceratosaurus. It's gonna fight. 
lead modified victory against the Ceratosaurus. Go fight. There. Go fight. Fight. Don't go after the Gallimarmuses. No. no Campylobacter. Come on, Stego. No. Fight. Come on. These two need to fight. They're walking towards each other. Oh, they're squaring up. Here we go. That was easy, pretty good and easy to do. Come on, Stegoceratops. Ooh, that almost took half his health. The first time. It's the epic battle. Well, that's going to be pretty easy. The Ceratosaurus isn't even getting hits in. Don't you stop fighting. You better hit him last time. There it goes. And he's dead. Oh, really? One health left? Don't run off. There we go. Oh, spike right through the head. Oh, that's crazy. There we go. Spinosaurus now. Well, that was intense. At least our Stegoceratops didn't get hit at all. Okay, now we gotta wait for the Spino. And now we're putting the Spino down in the park here. So let's bring the Spino in. Here he comes. I better actually go ahead and get another Stegoceratops going in case the other one dies. Actually get a new gene going on here. Let's go for lifespan. There we go, should be good enough. Just so if the, see like that, I don't want those two to fight. It needs to be that one. No, they're gonna fight. There, may actually just, the Spino may actually kill it. Oh, like it's going to. Well, there it goes. Cancel that. Now we're gonna start getting that one uncomfortable though because it's lost a friend. Come on, you gotta come save it. Gotta get over there. Let's hope they start fighting by the time I get. Uh, we're drifting. Oh, snap. I don't remember where the door is. I think it's on this side. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Come on, you gotta go fight. There's the Spino, he's getting ready. He's ready to like, come on, let's go. There we go. No, come back this way. There, now the, no, he's running away. Now he's gonna eat on that body. Come on, you two gotta fight. Guess I'll wait till they start fighting. Have to sit here and wait. I don't know how long it'll be. Hopefully the Spino doesn't need any of my Gallimimuses. And hopefully it's before this guy gets too lonely. Because I don't want to release the other one. Till this fight gets done. I'll shoot you. Come on, here we go. Let 
Let's do this. Now they're starting to fight. And I'm here ready to shoot the stave tarps in case it needs help. And Stegoceratops get the first hit in. And it does. I assume because of the higher defense it will win, but you never know. There goes hit it again. Oh, and he's almost dead. There goes last hit, and the Spino is probably down to one health again. And it's going down. Where's he poking? Right through the head again. Ugh. Not good uh, visually. Because it kind of messes up. But we did get the death of the stale. Now we've got a Giga Nato coming in. So we'll wait for that. And here comes the Giga. Place him down in here as well. There goes the Spino being carried away, and here comes the Giga. Leave the Stegoceratops to shoot. Better probably get the Ranger team back over here. Is there anything I can do over here with it? Doesn't look like it. Hopefully it'll just win. So let's go Giga. It's starting to get upset. Our other one is done and ready. So hopefully if this is the last one, I'll be able to get this other one released to make this one happy again before it starts breaking out. <clears throat> Just gotta drink some water. They better fight. Don't kill my Galamarmuses. Which is what it's going for. Well, there's one down already. Got mimes too, which was an older one. Come on, fight. No, don't run away. Yes, confront each other. We need to fight. Don't eat more gal mimeses. He's gonna eat more of my Galamimus. Not Galamimus 3, that was a newer one. So now I guess I just gotta sit here and wait for them to start fighting. So once they do that, I will bring you in for the action. And here they go, they're starting to fight now. Let's hope the Stegoceratops wins against this Giga. <clears throat> I am worried about this fight. But I think the Spino is usually like the best Dino or has been. Like one of the best dinos in the game. If it was able to kill Spino, I assume it'll be able to take out the Giga. It looks like it's hitting for about the same. Oh, down to 27, but one more hit and it should be dead. Come on, just hit him. He's just waiting for the Giga to hit you. Just hit him back. There it goes. Oh, now he's down to 1%, so this one takes an extra hit, pretty much. Alright, and the neck once again. And as you can see, it's already nighttime. It turned day not too long ago, but it's already back to night again. There we go. And we did it. That's it for the mission. We completed mission 2, the Stegoceratops. Single species. There we go. We got all that stuff unlocked now. We gotta spend that money on. The first Stegoceratops we created would not have survived. But Let's go ahead animal. and release this, animal this one. Queen. We've learned so much about these. So it has a friend now. You'll need to be and its comfort will start going back up. If word gets out about these animals, they'll be the target of attacks. Attacks. Thieves. Oh no. The advancement in science comes at a cost. But seeing what the Stegoceratops is capable of... There, it's stuff starting to go back up. Let's get first two more Gallimimuses back in here. Which makes me think someone continues to work against our agenda. Not working what against us. <clears throat> how that someone could Excuse me, there we go. Two more Gallimimuses. We can't afford to let that happen. Let's go in here, look at the research. Three new items, what do we get now? 
Oh, what's the next one? It is the Spinoraptor, of course. I'm making you Spino an offer you really shouldn't refuse. Mishwafelf hybrid is killed. Well, it better not. Well, I'll do that not right now. Where's the other research we can do? We can do a rapid stress response. And whatever that is. And so that, I guess, is it for today. So we'll be putting the Spino Raptor over here, hopefully. I may have to build up some of these fences and everything so that it doesn't break out as easily. Uh, but we'll just have to see about that. But I think that's going to be it for the episode today. I wish it wasn't dark, but unfortunately it is. But that's going to be it for the episode today, of course, where we release the Stego Raptor. Or Stego Raptors. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Stego Ceratopses. And there's our newest one here again you can hardly see it because of the moonlight and everything but it's there so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode be sure to let me know in the comments down below and by leaving a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more dress world evolution videos and continue on with the playthrough here and plus all the other game videos we do but thank you all so much for watching i appreciate your watching and support as we make it ever so closer to 1000 subscribers thank you all so much for that and i want to thank you for watching and i will see you in the next episode